Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Alberto Friedman, an Illinois professor who's being charged for a hate crime, spitting in a woman's face in front of their seven-year-old daughter, I might add, because he simply did not like black people. I'm Walsh P. This is Matter of Opinion. Let's dig into it. So if you like the video, definitely subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to show that support, definitely consider becoming a member. And don't forget to join that Locals. The link is in the description where you can see our raw and uncensored content. With that being said, let's dig into the topic at hand. So the woman who's not been named was parked in the traffic aisle while her mother went in a jewelry store to do some shopping. Now I remind you, she had her seven-year-old daughter in the car. That's when Mr. Friedman pulled up behind her, honking his horn and screaming out racial slurs. She then signaled him to go around her, but he continued to yell racial slurs, eventually got out the car, spit in her face when she attempted to open the door to confront the man, he slammed the door shut. Got back in his vehicle, and when she got out her car, the man nearly hit the woman where she had to sidestep to avoid getting hit, and end result, he wind up hitting her car two times, damaging the vehicle. That's when police showed up, and the man was arrested. New at 10, a local college professor is charged with a hate crime, accused of spitting on a black woman and yelling racial slurs at the woman and her seven-year-old daughter. Prosecutors say Alberto Friedman also hit the gas in his Jaguar and tried to run over the woman in the parking lot of this jewel store in Oak Park. In court documents, prosecutors say Friedman spit in the victim's face and told the victim he spit on her because he doesn't like black people. According to Friedman's LinkedIn profile, he teaches at the National University of Health Sciences. Now, the man is out on a $2,500 bail and, of course, is doing court. But here's where I'm at with the situation. I get it. A person is blocking you. You got somewhere to go. I've done it a few times. I'm yelling, cursing, screaming, whatever the case may be. And I even get it. You may even say a racial slur doesn't make you racist at all. We all have our lapse of judgment and we all say things when we're frustrated. But when you literally get out your car and say, I don't like black people, I'm sorry, you're a racist. And to do this in front of the woman's seven-year-old child, that seven-year-old child now got to witness this and that's something that's going to stick with her for the rest of her life. So right there, you don't know the damage that you've done to this little girl. And see, people who are racist, like this gentleman right here, who is a college professor, that is a problem. Because if you're a college professor, you determine who passes and fails and can stop somebody from graduating, from progressing, getting their degree, whatever the case may be, based on how you personally feel about that person. And when you add something like race into the equation, that is a problem. See, if you're a racist, hey, to each his own, do what you do. But when you work in fields like being a professor, an EMT, law enforcement, judge, things of that nature, it is definitely a problem. Because when it comes to those fields, you have a direct impact to people's lives. And race shouldn't matter. If you're trying to save somebody's life, race should not matter whether you save their life or not, or do they receive better treatment than the other person. If a person's trying to get their degree, race doesn't matter. It should be about their work, ethics, study habit, and their scoring. Race shouldn't play a role in it. If it comes to sentencing, Race shouldn't play a role in it either. It should be based on that particular person's actions. Now, I know this isn't a major crime like killing somebody or anything like that, but I had to bring awareness because in a lot of fields, whether it's school, policing, judge, EMT, hospitals, all these fields where people's lives are directly impact, we can't have racist people in these fields because that's a detriment to us and a lot of people will suffer because of these people's personal bias or how immature they think. Now his employer did confirm that he does work for the university and he has been suspended upon further investigation. I don't see nothing to investigate if the man straight up said that he's a racist by saying he doesn't like a particular group of people. It's nothing to talk about. Fire this man and give him whatever charges, whether it's a fine, whatever the case may be. But this man should not be working as a professor. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective. Tell me, do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think should happen to him as far as disciplinary action? I'd love to hear it. I'm Walsh P. This is Matter of Opinion, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. It's a matter of opinion.